Alright guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Waldemere in Erie, Pennsylvania. This is a small family-owned park, but this is actually one of my favorite parks, and I'll explain why in this review. So to start off, it's really hard getting here, sort of. You've got this weird road to go down, and then you're going to find this narrow little pathway, which takes you to the parking lot. There's a bunch of houses and everything, so it's very bizarre. But once you actually get there, the park looks amazing. You've got this small little quiet looking entrance. Nothing too flashy, but it gets the job done. And then you enter the park. And for the most part, this park is really clean. Not a lot of litter and everything. You've got nice pathways. The landscaping's amazing with all the trees and stuff. Definitely feels family owned. And you know, you've got like the clown benches here and there. So... Yeah, just overall, the landscaping and everything's amazing at this park. But let's get into this ride collection, because that's why you're coming here. Obviously, you go here for Ravine Flyer too. You're not coming here saying, oh yeah, I can't wait for Steel Dragon. Like, like no, you come here for Ravine Flyer too. And, oh my god, I love this thing way more than most people. It's ridiculous how good and sustained the airtime is on that. Plus, the sense of speed with that wooden coaster rumble like you don't get that sense of speed with the wooden coaster rumble like anywhere else it is incredible just flying throughout that terrain i mean that's why it's called ravine flyer um yeah the second half's a bit better than some people say it's just one of the best coasters period in my opinion after that the lineup definitely falls like off a cliff after that you got steel dragon pretty basic mauer sc1000 SC2000 spinner, and then you got Comet, and a big whoop, it's pretty much on par with a Woodstock Express clone, then you got two kitty coasters, Whirlwind, this is an SPF Visa, it's, yeah, it's an SPF Visa spinner, I don't know what else to tell you, and then Ravine Flyer 3, this thing's surprisingly aggressive, it's not Cosmos Curves or anything, but it, it's good for a kitty coaster, and then the flat rides is where this park really shines other than RF2 because you've got Music Express, which I know that that sounds like, yeah, big deal. It's a Music Express, but trust me, this thing is a huge deal. I like this thing more to, than Ride of Steel, personally. I know that sounds crazy that Music Express is better than Ride of Steel, but you've got some of the best laterals, period. And then this Music Express actually has good airtime. It's just wild. And it has a good cycle and everything. Like, yeah, that ride is perfect. <laughs> you, don't get, you don't get much better than that for flat rides. You've got Chaos, which it's good for Zamperla, um, Inverting, Pendulum. And yeah, the restraints kind of suck on it. But yeah, for a Discovery-type ride... It's, it, it's whatever, it gets the job done. And then you've got X-Scream, which is a normal Larson REM drop tower. This one is a bit better than the others, in my opinion, because of the view. But yeah, for the most part, it's the same little gut punch you get at the start. I think these are slightly overrated, but still, they're really good rides. You've got some other great classics like Paratrooper. You've got the Wacky Shack, which I actually count as a credit. I didn't mention it with the other coasters because a lot of people don't. But I'd count this as a credit because of that dip. I know, like, go and unsubscribe, do whatever you need to do. But that's a credit in my book. And the dark ride portions and everything are fantastic in there, too. I love that thing. You've got Pirate's Cove, which is a sick walkthrough. I did not expect it to be that good when I went through. So I was pleasantly surprised by that. You've got a normal disco, a scrambler, you know, all, all your normal classic flat rides, a log flume, nothing too special, but yeah, great flat co collection here. In terms of operations, these guys are pretty good, I'll say. They're not Knobles or Universal, but they get the job done pretty efficiently. They'll let you get room on RF2, and yeah, it's it's good for the most part. Now, I'll say the GP here, there was one in particular, that was just amazing. I'm not going to get into why, but yeah, there was one that stood out, but other than that, yeah, the GP here kind of, yeah, I'll admit they're not good. Luke told me about how bad the GP were here, and yeah, he was sort of right, because 
there were a ton of just random people screaming and doing obnoxious things. That's not everyone, obviously, but it's mainly just like the 13 year olds or whatever, which you'd kind of expect, but they were kind of abundant here compared to other parks. So that kind of sucks, but you know, what are you going to do? You have to deal with that for some ravine flyer too. And the atmosphere other than that is amazing. Again, I mentioned all the landscaping, how it feels really family owned and stuff. And yeah, that's, that's what I want out of a park. I'd like the atmosphere at a park like this or Knoebels way more than at Universal or Disney, just cause yeah, I don't care that I'm immersed in Harry Potter when there's a bunch of sweaty GP who don't know what they're doing. Like here, there's some of those, but there's also families that just want to have a good time here and other enthusiasts who are looking to not exactly marathon ravine flyer two all day, but who want to have a good time at the park basically. So yeah, there's really just very few atmospheres that can top this just cause again, how nice the park looks, the layout and everything, the layout's very simple. I'll give it that too. It's a little weird trying to get back to chaos, but you know, there's going to be weird paths everywhere. So yeah, you do have free admission here if you're not going to ride anything, which I always appreciate because, you know, if my dad or my mom's pulling up to this place with me, like they don't have to ride anything or if they do, they can just get a Wally card, which is good for a few rides. So I definitely appreciate that. And overall, this is, in my opinion, my number seven park I've been to. I know I've got over parks like Kings Island, Six Flags, Magic Mountain. Like, yeah, I love this place. Ravine Flyer 2 alone is just one of the best coasters I've ever ridden. Top 10, honestly, out of the 307. And yeah, just the rest of it, such an underrated gem. So let me know what you guys think of Waldemir down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.